Today on Sugar Spun Round, I'm sharing a super simple recipe for chocolate ganache. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. Today's recipe is so simple, you only need two ingredients for the perfect chocolate ganache. I'm going to be showing you how to make it really quickly, and I'll even be showing you how to do a super simple chocolate drip on a cake. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, of course, the first thing that you need is your chocolate. I'm going to be starting with eight ounces of semi-sweet or dark chocolate. Either one is completely fine. Now, I'm using Coverture chocolate. If you don't have that, you can chop up a chocolate bar, or in a pinch, you can even use chocolate chips, though I recommend using a quality brand like Ghirardelli. Now, it's important that you measure your chocolate out into a heat-proof bowl, because we are going to be adding a hot liquid to this in just a little bit. Now, your second ingredient that you need is one cup of heavy cream. Instead of heavy cream, you could also substitute double cream or heavy whipping cream. Now, my chocolate ganache is made with a one to one ratio, which means that you use equal amounts of cream and chocolate. You can scale this recipe up or scale it down as you'd like. It works perfectly fine that way. Now here I have a small saucepan on my stovetop. I'm just going to pour my cream into the saucepan and all we're going to do is bring that to a simmer. Once your cream is simmering, remove it from the heat and just drizzle it over your chocolate. Now I like to take a piece of foil and just cover my chocolate and cream. Don't touch it, you're not going to mix it yet. We're just going to let it sit undisturbed for five minutes. Once five minutes has passed, you can uncover your chocolate and we're going to gently whisk together the chocolate and the cream until it's completely combined and smooth and glossy. Now first, you might panic because it looks like everything's separated, it looks like it's not going to work, but just gently whisk the two ingredients together. And I, if you notice, I kind of just start in the center and I kind of just stay in the center and just gently whisk. And after about a minute or so, you start to have a nice, smooth chocolate. And look at that. I do like to use a spatula to scrape the sides and bottom, just in case there's any cream or unmelted chocolate hiding there. All right, now this is really all there is to making ganache. You're done at this point. You can do whatever you would like with it. However, I know many people are making ganache to do a drip on a cake, so I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. Now, I always like to use a squeeze bottle, so I am just going to pour my chocolate into my squeeze bottle, and I'm probably gonna make a mess, and I did. No surprise there. But we don't need all of our ganache, so I just filled my bottle about halfway or so. Now you don't wanna use your ganache when it's too hot or it can end up melting whatever you're putting it on. So you want to let it cool a little bit first. Once it's cooled, I have this beautiful peanut butter frosting frosted cake, and I am just going to show you really quickly how to do the drip topping on that. Now, ideally you will want the frosting to be pretty cool. So I like to chill my cake and chill the frosting for about 10 to 15 minutes before I try to do the drip. You just wanna hold your squeeze bottle perpendicular. Just do one drop. Now, the first drop should always be just a test. You wanna see how quickly it runs down the cake. If it's running down really fast, your ganache probably needs to firm up a little bit more. If it stops before the bottom and you're happy with how the drip looks, then you'll just want to keep going. And we'll just go all the way around. And then of course you'll want a nice even chocolate coating on the top. So we'll just squeeze some more of that chocolate to do a nice layer on top and then just use an offset spatula to smooth it gently over the surface. And look at that, that's how easy it is to do a chocolate ganache drip. Now you know how to make a chocolate ganache, and if you'd like, you can even let this ganache cool completely, and then you can use an electric mixer or a stand mixer to beat it until it's thick and fluffy, and then you have a super simple whipped ganache frosting. I hope you guys enjoy today's very, very simple recipe. Let me know how you're going to be using it in your own kitchen, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> that's good.